Well, what stands in the way? This is the examination. In the shamanic path that I was with, there was a, uh, a hymn that we would sing every day. And the hymn called everyone to examine their conscience every day to look at what, what is it that I believed in today? What is it that I put my attention to today? Where was I having beliefs and being distracted from love? Where was I putting my attention? Where was I believing in my opinions and judgments and forgiving that old identity and coming back again and again and again and again to the truth of God, to the truth of love, to the truth of oneness. Again and again and again, not with recrimination, but with a wanting, a true wanting to remember, a true wanting to heal. and a true wanting to receive the teachings that were always being offered. But it was a letting go. It was a choice. And even recognizing that I had the choice and that I wanted the choice to begin again and to bring my attention constantly back to love and harmony, and peace, and joy, and to keep bringing my attention back to becoming undefended. Now, maybe you think undefended means that you're not in an actual battle in this moment. But your defense system takes on all different kinds of mechanisms. The defense system takes on worry. The defense system takes on figuring things out as part of its strategy. That's a defense. Your open heart is waiting, letting go of defenses, being defenseless, aware, open, available, humble. Your defense system says, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this. And I want to know more. I want to know what everybody else is doing. I want to know what it all means. I want to know what I want to know. And none of it is going to be helpful. What does it give you to know how old somebody is? I'm just using this as an example. But yet, there is this urgency, this habit. How old are they? Where do they live? What do they do for a living? What do I need to know about this? What is it? it's, it's fear. It's fear that wants that believes that if it knows more, it will finally feel safe. And it will believe that it's in control through all this knowing. Where does this come from? This really comes from the agreement to battle, the agreement that you have enemies that there are true enemies and you have to know about them. You have to know, but it's held under the guise of I'm going to know something and I'm going to feel better. What is it to tune in and as soon as you get some information Tune in. 
you have a sense that you are going to now feel better. You're, you're going to believe that you now know something. And for a couple of seconds, you'll feel better. You're going to fill your space with knowing. And your space is going to come from only from your past. Everything that you want to know about the world, you are building out of your identity from the past. What is innocence? Innocence is this moment this light, this love, all that is untouched, untarnished, because nothing's happened and nothing is going to happen. Nothing is happening. It's only love. It's only harmony, peace, and joy. What is there to know about that? I ask the question many times of beloveds. Ask yourself, what is it, what is the purpose of you asking a question? What is the purpose of it in your daily life? What is it that you want to know? What is it for? Let's even say it's under the guise of, you think you're actually going to get to know somebody better by knowing more about them. The world actually holds the belief, humanity holds the belief that when you meet somebody you don't know them. And you have to get to know them through their information, through figuring out their personality, through knowing more about them in all different kinds of ways. This is not, this is not the heart connecting. This is, I'm going to see whether I approve of you or not, whether I like you or not. And all the while the beloved is waiting to be recognized. The beloved is waiting to be seen by your heart. But can you, can you meet this beloved without the story around them, the identity around them that you believe you've come into agreement with? I can say till the cows come home, no one is their story. Okay. But if you keep wanting the story and you keep wanting to identify with the story and put it in your little box of labels in your little right space so that you feel more comfortable. It doesn't matter for love to, to illuminate that you are not your story. You're determined that you want to continue living in the story, everybody's story. What is it for? Really, to ask yourself that is the loving kindness of healing. It's the loving kindness because it is saying, I, 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 I love enough that I want to bring myself to healing. I don't want to continue to live my old life. I, I'm saying yes to what the Masters are offering. I'm saying yes. And but that yes is, it's completely your choice. And it's, it's every day. It, it is every day. It is not magic. Healing is not magic. It isn't saying a prayer in the morning out of obligation. Okay, 
Yes, thank you very much. I'm going to pray. Yes, uh huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, check it off. Did it, done it. Good. It's not magic. It's not having prayer beads and using your prayer beads to say the name of God a thousand times a day when you're not even present with it. It's to really invite the nourishment. Say the name of God all day long and accept the nourishment. Not for the sake of the name of God, but to keep your attention where it's most helpful. That everyone that you meet, you are willing to stop and say, Oh, this is the divine. This is, this is my beloved that I came here to meet today in this moment. Nobody else is hearing that, but it's in your heart because you want to recognize the beloved, because you want to remember, because it's what you give your life to. It's what you came here for. You came here to remember. You didn't incarnate to get a better job. You didn't incarnate to keep the name of your family tradition alive, no matter what your family tells you. You came here to remember. It's the only reason that you incarnated. You incarnated because you believed you were separate. And when the dawn lights your awareness and you recognize you came here to remember, then you give everything to that. Why waste any more time? Why spend any more time with the foolish fantasies and foolish games of success and failure? You came here to remember. 